Happy, happy Sabbath, queens. Oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Father. Thank you, Father Yah. Thank you in the name of your Son, Yahasha. We are so grateful, thankful. Oh, thank you, Father, for another beautiful Shabbat. Yes, I absolutely love it. And with that being said, y'all, we going to jump straight into it today because we got a lot to cover let me tell y'all, the father, he busy right now. It's a lot going on. And y'all already know what that mean, queens. We got a lot of work to do. So let's jump into it. Queens, can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Yes, I'm so excited for the Royal Gathering Part 3, Philadelphia. All praises on and glory to the Father. And when I tell y'all every year is something very significant about the venue that ends up being chosen. Chosen, And this year, it is at the Fringe Arts Theater. Now, in a worldly sense, that could mean that that means, you know, outside of the borders, you know, not mainstream, you know, on edge, you know, and this, you know what fringe means for us. So yeah, y'all, let's get it. We're going to go in there and it is going to be an amazing event. Okay. And y'all can't miss it. I'm telling you right now, you got about four months, May the 10th. 2024 be in the building and let me tell (laughs) y'all this is the royal gathering let's get them dresses together together queens let's get them dresses together okay because i'm already started right now okay so it's not gonna be a game let's let's come in and show the father we mean business about gathering for him all praises And just to give a little background on where we're going to be on May 10th, this is a historic district called Old City in Philadelphia and beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, The property actually sits on the waterfront of the Delaware River and is overlooked by the Ben Frank Bridge. So absolutely beautiful spot, location, glorious. And when I tell y'all I cannot wait to hit this stage, oh yeah, I got some new music coming out. Y'all gonna see exactly how we going for 2024. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. And I'm looking forward, forward to it. Oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Father. This year will be magnificent. So with that being said, y'all already know we want to do it big in Israel. And we want these extravagant venues and nice venues and beautiful venues. We have to come together and unite to help pay for these things. So with that being said, I'm going to leave the link to the GoFundMe page where you can send your donations. Now, I'll say one thing about this. In the royal family, you never see cash apps flashing across the bottom of the screen on every single 
thing. We don't ask nobody for money. We don't. Matter of fact, I try to give as much as I can to any and everybody in Israel who needs my assistance. I I give. I never ask anything because guess what? The father takes care of me real good. I ain't got to ask nobody for nothing. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father. So with that being said, this is the time of year where you should give and give charitably and cheerfully, okay? Be happy about it. Don't be, oh, let me go ahead and give a cup of No, give it happily. That's what the scripture instructs us to do. So that's what we need to do. And with that being said, come on, y'all. We got to jump into it today because I got to tell y'all how the Father been doing this week. So y'all already know, because I done told you before, these lessons every week is not under my control. The Father guides and lets me know what we talking about. Okay, so with that being said, right after the Sabbath, he he already got it going. When I tell y'all within a three-day span, I got all of these invites to different prayer groups and sister chats and all that other stuff. And I was just like, oh, this, this, this really means something. And then I was talking to Queen Malaka uh, about some music projects that we're working on. And she ended up inviting me to a sister's chat that she does. Now it's a small group, but these are some really anointed sisters and it is actually by invite only. She doesn't like really, you know, like, invite everybody. It's like a, a per- personal invite type of thing. So this is her Instagram right here, Batya Alicia Israel. And or we know Batya, daughter of Yah. And, you know, hit her up in her inbox. Our, our sincere anointed sisters, hit her up in her inbox if you want to join that chat or, or get with that chat. So then my brethren, King Yashar, sent me this invite to gird up which is an international prayer call now these ladies meet on google meet so it is a you know different platforms and stuff but this particular one gird up nation now they have a few different divisions and they work worldwide they have gird up africa they have gird up men's calls and it is all about coming together for prayer and the women's prayer call is like I say, a place for women, sisters to seek prayer, you know, and and give testimony and do all those good things. And I absolutely love them. When I tell y'all I was able to attend this one because I received that link and it was right about right when it was about to start. So I was able to attend this. And when I tell y'all, these are some praying sisters. Oh, all praises. I love it, love it, love it. I fell in love with the whole thing right away. I was just like, you know, I, I absolutely love it. And it was a great experience. And I told them right then and there, I said, y'all going to be on the circle next week. I'm going to be shouting y'all out and let everybody know. Go to girdupnation.com and scroll down to the women's prayer call. And you'll see the email address, girdupnationforsisters at gmail.com. Reach out to them and, you know, I mean, get in the circle, you know. And then... Queen Rissa reached out to me to say, I think that we should have a Zoom or some type of gathering for queens, you know, to get together and iron sharpens iron type of thing, you know, sister circle. And when I tell y'all all types of light bulbs started going off and I was just like, I, I see what you're doing, father. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, and I'm going to tell y'all right now, I woke up at 5 o'clock the next morning, and all I could feel was coalition. I just felt coalition in the spirit, and I immediately figured two things. One, the sisters of the royal family, Queen Circle, we have to come together in our own prayer group, sister chat, and regularly meet. 
Now, we're going to work all of that out, as you'll see in a few seconds. But the second thing is that the whole coalition thing, all of these sister chats, all of these sister groups, all of us, we must come together and we all pray on the Shabbat, but we must all come together and pray on one accord about the very same things on every Sabbath. This is what the coalition will be. This is what the Father wants to see, all of us on one accord. So I started working on this document with um, Queen Rissa and I invited Queen Alicia to come in and see, you know, her thoughts. But the Royal Queen's Coalition, the mission statement, the Royal Queen's Coalition will consist of a network of prayer warriors amongst the daughters of Zion. We shall come together to edify and sharpen one another in the Holy Scriptures. As a collective, we will use the power of prayer to assist in the healing of our holy set-apart nation as we target specific agendas in our weekly Shabbat prayers on one accord. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father and this is what he wants us to do. We have to come together. We have to gather together. Now, on this next page, I just wanted to start off with some agendas, stuff that we could all come together and pray, pray about on the Shabbat. Now, I highlighted Matthew 6, 5 through 8, and y'all know we about to pull it. And this is what we have to come together and do on the Shabbat. Now, those, this is, will be the weekly agendas. Now, I just started off for next Shabbat because by the time we watch Queen Circle, it, the Shabbat is basically because of the time of year, you only got about two to three hours left um, if you're on the East Coast. So next week is going to be very general. Just make sure you put in your Shabbat prayers. Yah's will be done. That is the main focus of the entire thing. Because everything is going to be the Father's will. Every week is going to be the Father's will. And then we will add things to go with that on every Shabbat. Now, I invited, um, I invite other queens, if you want to come in, and put in your ideas on this, just let me know. And I send you the link and you can come on into the document and put your ideas for future Shabbat prayers, whatever your ideas are. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to create a, another working document that's all about the sisters and our ideas for what we want to do and what we want to pray about. Now, this page, the meeting dates and discussion topics, what we're going to do, we're going to create some groups in order to set up some polls to try to figure out what is the best day for everybody to come together for the meetings right here in, in Queen Circle. So if we vote on Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights or one night during the week, I think that would be best. So let's see, you know, or maybe Sunday nights, but let's see. So we'll just, we got to figure that out. This is a work in progress. This is a working document and we have to let any sister chat, any sister group, any sister period. We have to let them know about the agenda. Make sure you pray about this on this Shabbat, sis. Make sure when you go in your closet, sis, put this on your, your list to pray about, you know, because we have our things we want to pray about on Shabbat. You know, I know I, I'm drawing them for different things every Shabbat, but we have to come together on one accord and make this happen. This is what the father is calling his daughters to do. Okay. Another thing was the father kept reminding me of episode 15, episode 15 with the five target areas. And number one, that mouth, 
You know, he said that mouth is the number one target area that we as queens of Israel, so-called black women, need to work on is our mouth. And if you go back and watch that lesson, episode 15, we brought it all out about this mouth, okay? And how it, it really is, you know, devastating to our entire culture, the way that the way we the way we talk sometimes, you know, and we have to take control of that. Now, why the father brought this to my attention was he wanted to say, I'm going to remind you and we're going to pull some scripts about the power of your mouth, the power that you hold as a daughter of the most high with that mouth. Okay. So let's turn it around and use it for what the father intended it to be used for because it is very powerful, very powerful. Come on, queens. Come on. We got to turn it and do it right. Come I, I love it. I love y'all queens. And I love that we're going to be able to do what we do as a collective. We're going to be able to send out those Shabbat prayers as a collective. Okay. And get some stuff done. And the father's going to absolutely love hearing his daughters on one accord. All praises. And one more thing. I saw this on Friday when I got off from work. It was like I had just missed it. But I was like, this is this is awesome. This is exactly what the father is pushing to bring together. And I saw this and then it says Sisters Chat 102 with Sister Shara. And I'm just like 102. So they've been doing this. They've been doing this. The father has been preparing all his daughters coming together in the different smaller groups. And now we have to bring those all those groups together as a collective on one account. Cord, and I cannot stress it enough. I'm feeling this deep down in the spirit. This is what the Father is showing me. And when He show me stuff, I listen. Because He's going to show you some signs. He's going to give it to you. Now, whether you want to listen or ignore it or not, it's up to you. But with that being said, let's go on and jump into these scriptures. And because we need to be getting together, we got to pull this first. Zephaniah chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass as the chafe. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. And this is telling us right here, we got to do it now. We have to gather now. We have to join forces and be on one accord and gather together now before the destruction, before the day of Yah. All praises, honor and glory to the Father. Now, I mentioned earlier that we were going to pull Matthew 6, verses 5 through 8, because this is critical. This is very important to getting our prayers heard by the Father. We already know you have to be living righteously and you have to be obedient to his word. And then after you make it through those, this, this is the blueprint of how we go about our prayers that we want the Father to hear. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. Now, this is not to say that we can't get together and pray in public, but what it is trying to stress is, and we're going to get more into it, this is a solemn, private thing. This is something that's between you and the Father. 
So, of course, we can pray for others. The scriptures tells us to do that. We can come together and pray. But there has to be that time when it's just you and the Father in your private place with the door shut. When it's just you and him. No one else to listen. No one else to hear you. No one else but the Father through his Holy Spirit is is your listener. So we do know that there are those who are out there just praying and, you know, running their mouths and just to be seen and, oh, uh, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you know, and that's not always what we need to be doing. That's not what we need to be doing at all. We can bring this word out as much as we can. We can pray for other people, but doing it just to be seen is not where it's at. You have to be sincere. And when it's just you and the Father, it's just you and the Father. Matthew 6, chapter 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father, which is in secret. And thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly all praises honor and glory to the father that's why we have to do these things as a personal private thing just between you and the father so your reward will be seen publicly that's why when we come together as a collective of the daughters of the most high in our private places with our doors shut in our prayer closets, in our bedrooms or whatever, wherever you have to go to have that privacy, just you and the Father. That is why it is it is so critical because we need to see these results openly. We need for the things that we're praying for to come to fruition through the Father's will on the world stage, all praises, on and glory to the Father. Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. All oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Father. I just love it. This is telling us right here. Don't just sit up there saying the same thing over and over again. Be direct with the Father in your prayers. Speak to him with much respect and, and due diligence and, uh, you know, just love and adoration for the things that you're praying for. He already know <laughs> what you're about to ask anyway. So you might as well not bull crap about it or, or, or go into these repetitious things like the heathen do. Just be direct. This is what the father loves. He loves to hear exactly what's on our righteous hearts and righteous minds. Speak with him in, in that respectful, loving, reverence type of manner. This is what he loves. All praises, honor and glory to the Father. Thank you, Father Yah. James chapter 5, verses 15 through 16. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. All praises, honor and glory to the Father. This scripture, I pulled this right here because it's telling us when if you have the sick among you pray for them the father listens and grants the prayers 
of the righteous. It says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And avail it means it overcomes. It comes into victory. You have the victory when you're righteous and you're you're putting your prayers out. The Father hears them. And I'll tell you, we're in that time right now because the end is near. He is listening to our prayers again. The more we come back and we are we reach that righteous state, He is listening. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. This is where prayer and faith intersect because you have to have that faith behind your prayers. You have to believe and know, hey, I'm living a righteous lifestyle. I'm going to pray to the Father about this stuff. And he's going to listen. He's going to fix it. He probably already fixed it and work on, worked on it because he already knows that I'm going to come to him and ask him about it very shortly. So with that being said, let's have the faith and believe behind these prayers. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father. Thank you, Father Yah. Oh yeah, let's get it. James chapter 5, verses 17 through 18. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months all praises on and glory to the father. This is telling us right here. Elias prayed and prayed. The father, don't let it rain. Don't let it rain. And the father held that rain back for three years and six months because a righteous man prayed that it would not rain. All praises. Come on now. And, and you got to think about it. When we was little, what we say? Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. Didn't it work sometimes, y'all? <laughs> used to work for me because I wanted to go outside. And it was rain, 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 please go away. And it'll work. And we can go outside. And I'm telling y'all, the father do not play. Verse 18, and he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. So obviously when he prayed again, he prayed, okay, father, let it rain now. Let the rain come on so, so we can fertilize and this earth can bring forth everything it needs to bring forth. All praises, honor and glory to the father for hearing the prayers of the righteous. All praises. Jude chapter one, the only chapter, verses 20 through 23. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of Yah, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. All oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Father. I don't think y'all heard that. This is telling us right here, man, build yourself up with that most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Get them prayers in there. After you done built yourself up, look for that mercy through your house, shy, unto your eternal life. And you will be able to make a difference with your prayers. You will be able to Pull some of your sisters and brothers up out the fire. 
Pull him out the fire. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father for the prayers of his righteous, pulling his other sons and daughters out of that fire through their prayers. All praises. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. Wherefore, also, we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Yahushai, may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor and glory to the Father. And this is just a reminder that when you do these things in prayer and the Father counts you worthy of the calling to have that power in prayer through your righteousness, that work is of faith with power. We must realize the power that prayer holds when we have that work and that faith behind it. All praises on and glory to the Father. Y'all know what we about to get next. James chapter 2 verses 17 and 18. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. All praises. Thank you, Father Yah, for your word and clarification. He is letting us know right here through James that You cannot just have the faith. You have to have the works that come behind the faith. So you got to have the works that come behind the faith that you're putting into your prayers. All praises on and glory to the Father. I, I absolutely love it. And he say, and I will show thee my faith by my works, you're going to see my faith by the things that I do, by the way that I carry myself, by the trust that I have in my father, the God of Israel. All oh, praises. James chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. Dead. All praises. Honor and glory to our Father. Thank you, Father Yah. And this is just reminding us right here that, oh, you believe, yes, you believe in your Father. You know your Father is there. You you doing a good job. But guess what? Guess who also knows? <laughs> the devils. Those who carry those evil spirits. And they know and they know and they believe. Because they know. And they sincerely believe. And guess what they do? Whenever they think of the Father, they tremble. They shake it in their boots. Because they scared. Because they know their end. They know it ain't no pulling them out the fire. It ain't no pulling them out. Baby, you're stuck. So that's why every time they get to trembling and they scared. All praises, honor and glory to the Father for letting everybody know you're righteous, the unrighteous, those carrying those evil spirits. Everybody knows about your power. Now, to get into those scriptures that the Father wanted us to review concerning the target area number one. Now, 
from that episode 15, the target area number one was the mouth that we needed to fix. Now we're going to talk about it in the aspect of how the target area number one, the mouth, is one of our most powerful weapons in righteousness. So when you're righteous and you are using that mouth, let's see. And now this is going to be talking about Hannah. Hannah is the mother of Samuel and she had to do a lot of praying to have him. And Samuel in turn was the one that the father chose to anoint King David on the throne. Well, not on the throne, even when, but he was a child before he even made it there, but to be the next in line after King Saul was due to fall. First Samuel chapter two, verse one. And Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoiceth in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. Oh, praises, honor, and glory to the Father, and y'all see why he wanted us to read this because it is telling us, uh, Hannah said, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies and the power of our mouth and prayer is unstoppable when we live in righteously. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father. Hallelujah. And we're going to get one more about that mouth. Additions to Esther. Now I'll say I've been reading additions to Esther. It's a lot of the same of the regular Esther, just little stuff added in. So y'all who really know me know I love the book of Queen Esther. And I've been trying to do a lesson on it since we started doing Queen Circle. But the father just keep pushing it back. Keep telling me, not yet, daughter. Hold on. I'm going to let you know when is the right Shabbat for Queen Esther. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. But uh, yeah, let's get it. Additions to Esther, chapter 13, verse 17. Hear my prayer and be merciful unto thine inheritance. Turn our sorrows into joy that we may live, O Lord, and praise thy name and destroy not the mouths of them that praise thee, O Lord. All praises. This is just another one. And this one right here is telling us, hear our prayers, Father. Hear our prayers. Do not destroy us or let anyone destroy us because we have the mouths that praise you. We are the righteous. And this is telling us right here, we have to ask the Father to hear our prayers and be merciful unto us. Merciful unto our inheritance. Turn our sorrows into joy. We have to pray about these things because we are the righteous. All praises honor and glory to the Father. And I think this prayer right here would be a perfect prayer for one of those agendas. Esther chapter 13, verse 17. I'm I'm making a note of it right now, mental note. So with that being said, Queen Malacca has been doing a little series about the book of Esther. So if you guys want to check that out, um, you can go to her YouTube page. Um, I did feature Queen Malacca before on the uh, Bring It Out with all the sisters who are bringing out the Father's Word. She has an excellent channel. Like we talked about earlier, she has the um, private uh, sisters chat. And when I tell y'all this sister, she is doing so much and I absolutely love it. Love you, Queen Malacca. She has her music ministry for the father. She has her YouTube channel, bringing out the word. She has the sister prayer chat, the scripture chat. Uh, and also she does something called my brother's keeper, which is a program that she has started. And I would love for the coalition of Queens to come together and help to make this program 
very extensive and, and spread throughout Israel. Now I'll tell you a little bit about it. What I know so far, My Brother's Keeper is a program for single mothers who have boys, but not a, a father's not in the home. So we are asking the kings of Israel to volunteer as a mentor for the boys of the single mothers. Now you'll be connecting with them, just, you know, trying to teach them and guide them and be a mentor. And that is what the My Brother's Keeper program is about. And the Royal Queens Coalition is going to be behind that 100%. And I absolutely love it. So with that being said, she also got something called Fusion 5 Essentials, where she keeps it green, all natural products, and we just going to go ahead and make that a supporter queen. All praises, all praises, all praises to the Father for his righteous daughters who are doing the work that he has put in us to do. All praises for the work. And this week's supporter queen is Queen Malacca. And we are going to be featuring her all-natural line. It's the butters and, and oils and just all types of natural things for your skin, hair, body. And she calls it Fusion 5 Essentials. All praises. Now let's get into some of these beautiful things that she has to offer. And I do want to mention that on this Fusion 5 Essentials Instagram page. She has lots of videos and how-tos to teach you how to make your own Fusion 5 at home. And you don't necessarily have to purchase, but she does have the option to purchase some of her beautiful, wonderful creations. So as you see here, the whipped tea tree and oregano butter and, you know, she has stuff like the papaya butter and the deliciously pink beetroot butter. Um, she does hair smoothies, the very berry butter. She has strawberry gel for locks. And she has something called the bye-bye oil, which you can say bye-bye to that stressful hair because it just manages it so well. And with that being said, she is taking payment right now via her cash app at money sign A-Y-A-B-A-T-Y-A-H for Fusion 5 Essentials. If you want to make a purchase, inbox her on Instagram and then send over your cash app payment. I will be after the Shabbat sometime this weekend um, making my purchase. I have to decide which one I want to buy. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father's support a queen, y'all. And with that being said, y'all already know what time it is. Happy, happy Sabbath, queens. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father. I told y'all we had a lot to cover today, and I told y'all we got a lot of work to do. So let's get it, queens. Let's get it. Get it, it's go time. Go, 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 go. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father in the name of his beautiful, precious, wonderful son, Yahushai, our King. All praises. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful, wonderful Shabbat. And with that being said, don't forget, next week, the Father's will be done. The Father's will be done. Make sure you got that in your prayers and you can have your sub prayers and whatever else you want after that. But that is the focus to start us off on this journey. And with that being said, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the Royal Queen's. Roll